Hey friends, I thought I'd do another little update video for you. Um, uh, people were uh, felt it was helpful for me to do that yesterday, so it's just another quick one. Um, uh, I'll try and do them um, as often as I can, and I'll put them on my YouTube channel so you can subscribe there if you want to get updates. Um, but I'm in a different room because uh, everything's changed, isn't it? And I'm not sure the camera angles will be right and the background will be right. But anyway, here we go. Um, not much time today to do it, um, but I just wanted to share with you just some of the things that I feel uh, are going on. It's all a bit different. The reason I'm in a different room is actually Caroline's doing Pilates online in the lounge. So she's got her instructor um, on one screen with a little uh, on Zoom. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's just quite a different. It's everyone's kind of having to adapt. Um and um, I know that's kind of a, a kind of trivial issue and many of you are facing really serious issues and really serious concerns. And I'm praying and the numbers are praying uh, for our community and for the community as a whole that God will break through in this. Um, but it's just all a bit different. I, I think I probably it was yesterday I realized my son told me the first time I was washing my hands all wrong. I've been washing my hands for nearly 50 years. I've been doing it all wrong. I meant to be much more extensive with the soap um put that all on first and then wash that off and i just think there's it was just a reflection for me of i wonder how much other stuff i've been doing all wrong and in this season we're going to learn that god's teaching us a new way a different way um it was funny actually i just feel in the in the big picture of this god is going to do incredible things uh through the hardship through the battle and that's my that's my big um uh, feeling my overwhelming feeling is his uh provision is going to be seen incredibly uh, in our lives um uh, someone again brought a prophetic word to me uh saying that they felt that exodus uh, when god said during that plague let my people go that was the kind of cry let me just read exodus 5 um, moses and Aaron went and spoke to pharaoh they told him this is what the lord the god of israel says let my people go so that they may hold a festival in my honor in the wilderness I just feel like as even as they brought that to me this morning, someone else had brought it previously. I felt just the spirit of God come on me. I felt that's exactly what God's doing. We feel like we're in captivity. In many senses, we are in captivity in our culture, uh, in our own hearts. We just don't realize uh, the captivity that we're in. Um, we don't realize how rough it is. Remember when the Israelites came out of Egypt, they were even then wanting to look back and go back and say, oh, it wasn't that bad. But actually, when they're in the wilderness, God did stuff in their hearts. And, and for those of us who feel, all of us who now feel trapped, feel captive, as I was just reflecting on Boris's words of, uh, you know, uh, 12 weeks and we'll be through this. That's a long time. Uh, no one really anticipated that it was going to be that long. That's a long time. It might even be longer. Um, so in this place of captivity, I want us to hear the cry of God, which says, let my people go. We are going to find freedom in this place if we posture ourselves right. We're going to be able to come to a new space of freedom in God. He's going to bring freedom in our hearts as we realize the idols, the, the faulty foundations we were building on. He's going to bring freedom in the nation as people understand that they were building on a faulty foundation and they suddenly realize that God is the one that they want to give their lives to, that he is the only true rock. Let my people go. I just feel the spirit of God behind that cry. Um, let's be praying for that. Let's be praying that in the captivity, in the isolation, that there is an incredible breath of freedom that uh, spreads across the planet. Let's be a calling on God for that. And and we're already starting to see it. I'm just st already starting to hear um, very dark stories of of abuse being shouted at food banks and, and, and real darkness coming out of people's hearts, but also incredible hope. You know, just someone was sharing uh, with Caroline yesterday that they're at their workplace, uh, they'd left two Bibles in the in the staff uh, kind of canteen. They would gather in dust. But yesterday they found two of their staff workers wanting to read the Bible, getting the Bibles down, dusting them off, reading them. Let's be praying for that across our nation and the nations that there will be this captivity, as it were, will create a hunger in people for freedom, for true freedom, not the, the false freedom that is offered in the world, but for true freedom that is only found in Christ. Let my people go. I hear that cry across this plague that's spreading across the world. And in the darkness, there are there is hope and the church will rise and shine and Jesus will be lifted up and glorified. So that's what I'm reflecting on while I'm washing my hands and learning how to do it for the first time in 50 years to do it properly. Let's be looking at our own hearts and think, Lord, what, what else have I been doing wrong? What else do I need to learn to do properly? Where else can I find freedom that you've got for me 
in this day. Let's be praying for that for one another. Let me pray for you. Father, we just we just stand on that prayer, uh, that cry of let my people go. And we pray for freedom. I pray for freedom for everyone who's watching this. I pray for freedom in my own life. I pray that we would we together would be carriers of freedom, that you would get us free on the inside so that we can bring freedom on the outside. That those who didn't even realize they were in, cap in captivity, ourselves included, would find true freedom in Christ, would find true deliverance in Christ, that this period of isolation would enable reflection and self-reflection that would result in genuine freedom. We ask it in your mighty name. Thank you that you are the one who's able to do it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you all. Have a great day. Thanks, mate.